What's up, all workers? It's your boy Frankie, all work, and I'm super duper back with another one, y'all. Real quick, y'all, real quick. I'm gonna need y'all to do me a quick favor, right? I'm gonna need y'all to hit that subscribe button. Then after you hit that subscribe button, I'm gonna need y'all to hit that bell button so you get all my notifications like the one I'm about to drop right now. So, I was sitting there thinking about this little Fifth War camp situation, takeoff situation, because we all know that Lil Camp Fifth War went to court yesterday. And um, a lot of things been popping out. So let me just give you a quick recap of the video that I made. You can go check that out. But real quick, uh, the DA, prosecutor's office, is basically saying that he's been appropriately charged and that they're not going to charge him for the murder of Takeoff, right? And also what they're saying is that he was charged with a gun on a strength that somebody which was an informant, which I'm going to say, which is an informant, like I said, was going to happen, which was an informant that pretty much said that they seen him with the gun. And let me tell y'all something about it, because I know people wondering, like, how does this work? Now, I know this for a fact. A person could really get caught up in something, right? And get locked up or whatever and be willing to tell some information. They could tell all the information they want. But the only way they're going to come get you like, they could tell you, like, yeah, I seen him kill a person, I seen him do this, but the only way they're going to come get you is if that person signed a paper and is willing to testify. So once they do that, that's when the warrant goes out and they're coming to get you, no matter what. Now, with this particular situation, right, I wanted to ask because I wanted to ask and it was something I wanted to compare to also because this case, this case reminds me of Troy Ave case. I don't know if y'all remember Troy Yav and old boy, the, um, I forgot my man's name, but y'all know who I'm talking about. The one that's locked up now and that's writing letter to the judge or whatever. It's the same thing because to me, old boy is going to have to say something. In, in order to, in order to, because the ballistics didn't come back yet. If y'all listen to the lawyer, he said he don't know nothing about the ballistics or anything like that. So I'm guessing did they catch him with the gun. I still don't know that because they still didn't say that. They're only saying that they seen him with the gun the day of takeoff murder. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is like Troy Ave case because he's gonna have to say something. Whether what to 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 clear his innocence, he's gonna have to say something. Whether he wants to or not, because you gotta go to a grand jury. You feel me? In this situation, you gotta go to a grand jury if they're trying to put you in the if they're trying to put you far as like in this murder. Because remember. Even though they didn't charge him with this yet, he still can be charged with it. Because right now, he's on the whole, he, he don't go to court till next week, and so many things can change. Because he might just want to talk and tell his story. So I want to ask y'all a question. Because when this happened with Troy Ave, right? This is what killed Troy Ave's career right here. This right here is what killed Troy Ave's career. Troy Ave basically didn't go on the stand yet, but everybody called him a snitch because he's basically saying what happened because they're trying to charge him with the murder. You see how that works? He's basically trying to claim his innocence by saying, listen, I had to take the gun and do what I had to do because this guy was coming to do whatever he was trying to do. Now, do y'all consider that snitching? Do y'all consider that snitching? Because let me, let me ask you a question, right? Say if you're in the room, right? You just in the room by yourself chilling. Somebody come, you and somebody else in the room. Somebody come bust in the room, right, with the gun. You take the gun. I mean, while they bust in the room and they shoot old boy, then you take the gun and then hit them with it. Or you hit somebody else with it by mistake and hit them with it or whatever. They're going to charge, they're going to try to charge you with that murder. Would you say anything to clear your innocence? Would you tell them, like, yo, this happened because... He came in the room trying to kill me, so I had to defend the room. Because that's what's going to happen with this case right here. That's what's going to happen with this case. Like, I, I want, like, real talk, I know they, they, they know who they want to charge right now. Trust me. But the thing is, they can't charge him yet until old boy talk, which is Little Fifth War Camp. Because they know what happened. They know who shot who. Why, uh, almost why it happened, but they just need one person to say one thing and they, then they got to stick by it. Then he will have to go to court and actually say this on the stand. So I'm going to keep it a buck, y'all. I don't think they're going to solve this case. I don't think they're going to solve this case because the way, the way it is, 
Oh boy, Lil Fifth War Cam, he's going to have to say something in order for the other person to get caught. If not, they're not charging him with it so far. So it might just be a getaway. So y'all let me know how y'all feel. Do you think Lil Fifth War Cam should say something? Do you think he's going to say something or not? It's your boy Frankie Hard Work. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Let me know how y'all feel. Easy.